What's good YouTube? It's your man Rage King back with another one. Yes, another upload to the channel. And before we get started, ask if y'all please go down there and hit that like button. Hit that sub button, hit that share button, hit that bell for notifications if you're new. Welcome to Rebel Rage TV. This is how we do Rage and Rebels. Crown up. And if you're new to the crew, welcome to the Rage and Rebel Revolution. Now let's vibe and y'all. We got the MK1 patch notes. We got them on deck. I wanted to make sure that they were the official patch notes and we got everything we needed to hear about another realm studios as to what's to come and what's changing and mk1 so without further ado i'm gonna stop running my trap and we're gonna get right into it. yes sir as you see right here ain't no optical illusion ain't no black magic ain't no photoshop the mk1 patch notes for ps5 xbox pc february update as of today february 28 2024 PC and Epic Game Store. This is just uh, letting us know that the system requirement change is going to go from 100 gigs to 140 gigs. But that ain't what y'all came here for. Y'all came for the good stuff, right? So the general fixes and adjustments, move list corrections and localization fixes, AI adjustments and improvements, improvements to screen reader functionality, added Peacemaker roster character, added Janet Cage cameo character available March 2024. We don't know the exact date as of yet with her. We just know she's coming in March which is literally tomorrow, so she'll literally be here in the next three weeks, three or four weeks. Um, added ultimate MK3 skins for Scorpion, Reptile, and Smoke, and MK3 skin for Sub-Zero. I have to check that out. I haven't checked it out just yet. Fixed several visual issues with brutalities. Fixed visual issues with several projectiles after being reflected. Fixed issue with cloth physics becoming active on frozen opponents during the in-game Fatal Blow attacks. Match timer now resumes immediately if a fatal blow misses or is blocked. Added cameo form sound form sound option to accessibility extra audio feedback settings. Fixed issue with up block in excuse me fixed issue with up block vulnerability persisting after knockdown if some wake up attacks were performed. Fixed rare issue near arena corners that could result in excessively long delay before a turnaround occurs. Using a breaker while a cameo is being performed will now always put the cameo on cooldown, okay? Online. Players can now manually link a game profile to a WB Friends account. This is talking about crossplay. Add a social media add a social added social menu where players can add others to their WB friend list and manage their WB friend account. Added crossplay support PC, Xbox Series X and S, and PlayStation 5 versions to private versus matches. Added crossplay support PC Xbox Xbox excuse me PC Xbox Series X and S and PlayStation 5 versions. No Nintendo Switch, which is an L in my opinion. I know who's playing on Switch. It don't matter who's playing on Switch. If people bought the game, they should be allowed to be in the crossplay format too. If other games have it, why can't they? To ranked combat league and casual versus matchmaking. Fixed rare issue where a UI and announcer timing would be mismatched at round start in online matches that was the clip that we showed of raiding or not me show but that was the clip going around viral where uh raiden and others and other characters but raiden is the one i know for sure could uh start moving before the match before the next round say it'd be round two or round three raiden can move before when you're both supposed to be still raiden can move before uh the meta uh, before you can actually say fight before they actually say fight you can actually fight raiden can move before that and the opponent cannot depending on what character they have so i'm glad they fixed that too fix rare issue where health could be slightly visually incorrect for a few frames after losing a round during some fatal blow cinematics fix online rollback issue with characters visuals changing when blocking certain brutalities starting attacks while at low health adjusted match found sound when looking for a combat league match, fix an online issue that caused frame rate to drop when the opponent continuously pauses during the match. And if you're doing that, you are, in my opinion, the wackest type of person. All right, it's gonna be a little bit more, a little bit more, and then we're gonna get to the characters, y'all. I promise, we're gonna get right to them. Invasions, the most dreaded mode in MK history. Let me tell you, in my opinion. I don't know about y'all, but in my opinion. Added in-game HUD indicators showing invasion character level and elemental types for the player and their opponent. Added in-game HUD indicators displaying modifiers during modifiers active during a match. Significantly increased fighter and cameo mystery XP based rewards per encounter, which is no longer no longer repeatable. That's funny they say no longer, no longer, and then say repeatable, and it's no longer that's funny. And are no longer subject to diminishing returns if the opponent is a lower level. 
increased fighter and cameo mastery XP, and items rewards from encounters in the Gateway Mesa, remove negative passive bonuses from some relics, Consumables with stat bonuses are now rewarded in more areas. Crowns can now be rewarded for defeating major enemies. Relic talisman buy and sell prices are now affected by level and rarity. Fixed end of sound end of round excuse me. Fixed end of round slow motion happening on certain attacks that were there when there were when there could be more opponents left to fight in the encounter. Fixed rare situation where the opponent losing to timeout while performing an armor move could cause an incorrect animation again everybody's favorite mode invasions not practice mode not much here damage text and practice mode when hitting an opponent with an air only attack will now display air instead of unblockable added ability to configure the following fighter and cameo specific mechanics under practice settings okay and now we get to the good stuff to the characters right character specific adjustments Main fighters, Ashra. Bleeding Blade, down back punch, down plus back punch, now deals bonus damage and causes knockdown reaction when hitting an opponent's cameo. Oh shit. Baraka, fixed chop chop, using same input regardless of alternate control setting. It's not really much really did to him, but okay, I didn't even really know that was a problem, but alright. General Shao, aka General Steppenwolf. Fixed incorrect animation used when cameo fatality is performed while axe is planted. Fixed rare issue that could cause incorrect blood locations when comboing jump attacks into base attacks. Okay. It's not really the changes I was really looking forward to, to be honest with you. Jiris. Fixed a rare issue that could cause Jiris to not teleport after hitting a main fighter and cameo with inevitable at the same time. Havoc. Scab stab, a weight plus back punch, back punch throw. No longer allows the opponent to perform a cameo ambush while a cameo ambush attack while it's in while it's in hit reaction. Sorry y'all. I'm a little gone off my meds. Again, I've been on I have been on hospital meds. I'm a little gone off my meds right now, so forgive me. Fixed enhanced neoplasm having no sound effects when performed at very close distance to the opponent. Fixed lingering visual with enhanced bloodbath if disarmed and dangerous fatal blow is used before activating corpse taunt johnny cage fixed invulnerability to high attacks during the during the sum of the recovery frames of ball buster while in wowing out hype state so i'm guessing when he gets down and he does a split or whatever you know or whenever he taunts when he's trying to build up his, his superstar meter i guess now you can hit him with a high now if that's what i'm I think that's what they're trying to say. Kenshi. Cameo meter color is now blue when Ancestor is active. Kenshi will now take 20 damage when Ancestor is hit by an attack. Ancestor is now vulnerable to attacks while Kenshi is performing a throw attempt. Fixed situation where hitting the Ancestor while in certain actions would cause two hit sparks to occur. Okay, kind of a little bit of an... He got he got nerfed a little bit, but come on now, that's like trying to put out a house fire with a with a water gun. Like you know what I mean? Like exactly how much are you putting out? You know what I mean? But I guess I was I was expecting a little bit more. I'm not gonna be I'm I'm gonna be honest. Kung Lao fixed throw immunity during some recovery frames of hat toss. Lee Mei enhanced Nova Blast follow up hits are no longer sometimes blockable when done at full screen against certain characters. Liu Kang fixed visual issue that could occur when Dragon's Breath is interrupted by Sub-Zero's Ice Clone. Okay. <clears throat> Melina. Slightly adjusted hit region on straight side plus enhanced straight side. Fixed visual with feral gashes front back punch throw. No longer allows the opponent to perform a cameo ambush attack while it's in hit reaction. Fixed issue that could cause air enhanced teleport down and air homing ball to not be possible while in the air from Chameleon's fan lift. Okay. It's a little bit of a buff right there. Okay. Fixed issue causing a, uh, excuse me, fixing issue causing a misaligned teleport attack to occur if enhanced side toss connects with an opponent's cameo. Fixed visual misalignment during maybe next time brutality. Okay. Oh, went down too far. 
Nah, I went up too far. Okay, my bad. Nataro. Fixed visual issue with wings having improper animation after missing Fatal Blow. Why did that even need to... Rain. Rain God Water Ball is no longer destroyed if rain is hit after the projectile becomes active. Fixed ancient trap interacting with some reflect moves. Fixed issue that will cause air confluence beam to not be possible while in the air from Chameleon's fan left. Okay, you got a bit of a buff right there. Not, not nothing major, but got a bit of a buff. Reiko. Fixed rare issue that could cause Reiko to switch sides with the opponent when performing the soldier's spirit. Fatal blow while close to the arena corner. Fixed visual issue with tactical takedown is interrupted by cameos. Kong Lao's away we go. Okay, again, not really. These are not these are not the changes I was thinking they were gonna make. I'm just being honest. Shang Tsung, fixed bed of spikes interacting with reflect moves. Added visual effect to signify when the form stealer damage boost has ended. Fixed issue with form stealer cloth physics not functioning correctly in certain circumstances when returning to Shang Tsung form. Sendell, cameo meter color is now pink when enhanced queen com queen's command is active. You snatch fatal blow while enhanced queen's command is active, no longer ends control over opponent's cameo. Fixed rare issue that could cause Sindel's cameo to become unresponsive if some fatal blows are performed immediately after hitting an opponent's cameo with enhanced queen's command. Stolen cameos using enhanced queen's command performing a buff move will no longer wait for the buff to expire before returning to their partner. Bit of a buff to Sindel as if she needed it, but if it was necessary for the quality of life of the game, do what you gotta do. Smoke. Fixed rare issue that could cause smoke to become invisible for an extended period of time if he is interrupted during everywhere. Back punch, front punch, back punch at specific timing. Okay. Okay. Again, not the buffs, nerfs, etc. I was expecting at all. Sub-Zero. Fixed visual issue that could cause ice clones to appear in cinematics. Tanya. Spinning split kicks and air splitting split kicks can now hit the opponent's cameo. Heavenly Hand and Enhanced Heavenly Hand now continue to be active after hitting an opponent's cameo. Spinning Split Kicks Air Plus, excuse me, Spinning Splits Kick and, and Air Spinning Split Kick, say that five times fast. Air Hit Reaction knocks down for a frame longer. Fixed Kuju or Kuju Strike Down Plus Back Punch now deals bonus damage and causes knockdown reaction when hitting an opponent's cameo. Fixed rare situation with 100 hands. Fatal blow. Not going into cinematic despite its attack. Connecting on opponent in certain circumstances with Cameo Goro. That is insane. Omni-Man. Fixed issues with spilled contents. Towards plus back kick. Front punch throw. No longer allows the opponent to perform a Cameo ambush attack when it is hit. When it, while in its hit reaction. Okay. Quan Chi, they got a whole paragraph for his ass. <clears throat> New move zone of waste added. It creates a zone that drains meter from the opponent, and if the opponent stands in it for an extended period, Quan Chi will briefly gain armor. Wow. Field of Bones and Enhanced Field of Bones now activates the cage trap if the opponent blocks the attack. Field of Bones and Enhanced Field of Bones now has an increased duration on the cage trap. Adjusted victim region while duck blocking. Fixed inconsistency between air and ground hit reactions for a zone of power. Enhanced head rush allowing the opponent to block follow up attacks at certain distances. Fixed Coxie's Crusher. Away plus front kick, back kick, back punch. Having improper animations and auto correcting if, if performed as the opponent jumps over. Fixed Serena Jakarta's Curse still triggering. If it is only connecting with the field of bones. Fix skewer strike tracking the opponent if its first hit connects with field of bones. Fix lingering visual effects if the opponent is interrupted during the hit reaction of enhanced head rush. Fix visual, excuse me, fix several unintended visual effects lingering during cinematics. Fix visual issue with skull projectiles lingering on screen if they are evaded by Omni Man's Viltrumite stance. 
Fixed visual issue with lingering effects after hitting Field of Bones with Sub-Zero's Ice Clone Charge. Fixed an issue which would allow opponents Shinjinko to use Zone of Power to buff their projectiles. Fixed visual issue with Zone of Fear that could cause visual effects on the opponent to linger after they have exited the zone. Zone of Fear and Zone of Power along with Zone of Waste can now be active at the same time. Now see, that is what, you see all this right here with Quan Chi? I was expecting like a whole lot more of that with everybody else. And it just didn't happen. It's like they just put all the hard work, or if you want to call it hard work, into getting crossplay in here, which which was half-assed done in itself. And then they just really only truly touched maybe two or three characters as far as gameplay-wise. This doesn't, as far as the main roster of characters goes, this doesn't change the meta of the game. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah, Quan Chi got better, but what about everybody else? You essentially just left everybody else the same, and you just put a water gun on the house fire when it came to Kenji. I don't understand that. That seems pretty lazy to me. But let's see what they got for the cameos. Cameo fighters. Darius. Fixed AI being unable to perform several follow-ups to Tornado Kick. Twister Kicks, Double Dragon, double Dagon Kick, Eat Dirt, and Heal Turn Attacks are no longer affected by projectile vulnerability. Jack's Cameo. Cameo meter color now changes when ground pound is active. I bet it's purple. Adjusted AI behavior when it's when it tries to avoid ground pound. See, this is not changing the old, this is not changing the meta. This is not changing the way the game is played. This is not. Kano cameo. Fix visual issues with several fighters' weapons during the eye laser and forward throw animations. Kong Lao cameo. Fixed animation issue when the spin is blocked at far ranges. Mutaro fixed rare issue with reflect, which could cause some projectiles to still be reflected after it hits a main character. Scorpion cameo. The main character will now pass through other characters when pulled by get over here. Huh? Fixed visual issue with Hellblaze brutality causing the victim to move in certain circumstances. I guess. Shijinko cameo. When morphing into the opponent Shang Tsung's cameo and using the full cameo meter, Shijinko will return to his normal state. Stolen Katana Fan NATO can now be directed close or far. Fixed issue causing Copycat and Mimic to increase the hype meter for Johnny Cage when used. Fixed visual issues with using Reptile Invisibility and Stolen Acid Spit at the same time. Wow. Sub-Zero Cameo. Fixed rare issue with Arctic Armor not deactivating when hit by low attacks in certain circumstances. Fixed lingering visual effects appearing after missing Fatal Blow. Tremor Cameo. Fixed issue with Tremor still being, invulnerable, still being vulnerable to attacks after using Crystal Armor and disappearing. Fixed Rolling Rock visual effects lingering after it collides with Sub-Zero's Ice Clone. Chameleon Cameo. HUD weapon icon will now pulse to indicate the skies is about to change. Slightly increased damage scaling on glaive roll and fan lift when using, an, when using a combo. Fan lift will now work on characters that have projectile immunity active. Okay. Fixed breaker being possible while chameleon is on cooldown. Using chameleon roll and Molina roll at the same com in the same combo will no longer cause alternate hit reaction. Fixed visual issue that could cause weapons to appear incorrectly in Tower Victory Cinematic. Now, I know that was a long video, but still, I got to say this. These, th these patch notes, in my opinion, were pretty much for a bunch of nothing. It was more like quality. It was more for crossplay. And then, speaking of crossplay, if you're going to have crossplay in this game, you put it in everything but the place it needed to be at probably the most if not the second most which is in king of the hill and online king of the hills because with that move right there you gotta understand there's a lot of people out there that just play the game for fun but what keeps the game going throughout the life cycle is not only just the content being released it is the quality of the game don't get me wrong but the quality of the game can only get you so far people just playing it for fun there are people that eat off of this. There are streamers that eat off of this. There are tournaments that are being held, online tournaments that are being held, that people literally pay their bills with and eat with. 
That is what those people and those tournaments are what keep the game alive. You understand what I'm saying? A lot of casuals don't know that. A lot of people don't know that because they got their own thing going on. And that's okay. There's nothing wrong with that. I'm not chastising you for that. Everybody has their own life. But there are a lot of online tournaments that go on. And when you don't have the rooms and the crossplay in in the in the uh, <clears throat> in the king of the hills, and you can't create rooms for crossplay. You literally are putting a you are literally just putting the nails in the coffin for the online tournament scene. The online tournament scene is what keeps the game alive. More than people just going in combat league and getting the elder god in a week. You understand what I'm saying? Or however long it takes people. You understand what I'm saying? And when you don't have that, you're only taking away from the game. Netherrealm Studios, you have to stop getting in the way of the greatness that could be this game. Y'all did it with MK11. Stop doing it here. Learn from your mistakes. Stop half-assing everything and give us the best you got. I guarantee to you, however much, however many copies of this game you have already sold, right? You can sell that much more. You can make that much more money if you just give us your best effort. And I'm sorry, from reading these patch notes, which were pretty much a bunch of nothing, from seeing the half-assed crossplay that you put in here, seeing that you pretty much didn't really do much of anything to change the way the game is being played, when people are already complaining that it's boring, when people are already saying it's repetitive, when people are already having a tough time playing the game as it is, specifically with the online features and the, and the, the overall performance of the game, and also another thing I don't hear anyone talking about, there was absolutely no new content put on this game. None. Not an extra mode. Nothing. They gave you. They did exactly what I said they was going to do. Maybe give you a few skins, which you're going to pay for. They're going to tweak maybe a few characters here, a few characters there. Give you a big ass list of nothing. And then guess what? We're going to be left with the exact same game. Only with crossplay, and they're not even gonna implement that right. You either gonna have desync issues, or they're not gonna put it in a place where it needs to be, which is in King of the Hills for the online tournament scene, which keeps making this game money. When they're not, when when WB and NetherRealm Studios decide that they're not gonna market it themselves, and you don't put it there, and what did they do? Exactly what I said they were gonna do. So NetherRealm, I'm sorry. I can't give you credit for this. I can't. You did the least amount of work possible and then think that that's still okay. Even after all of this criticism, you made people wait all that time and you still fumbled the ball on the one yard line. That's a bar. My name Rage King and I'm up out of here. Have a good night. Hashtag that enough said and goodbye.